This is a, again and again, we've seen the big tech titans start to deploy this, the apples and the like. What do you Alphabet. make of Amazon's move? Right. Yeah, so the stock split is one thing. You write that at you know twenty eight hundred dollars a share. Uh, Amazon uh, to a less sophisticated investor or, or one with not a lot of uh, money to invest, it looks like an expensive uh, stock to buy. The buyback is huge though, and I think that is something we're likely to see more of uh, if this sort of weakness in the equity markets uh, continues. Uh, the big tech companies, especially, and, and the S and P five hundred as a whole, very strong balance sheets uh, at, at this year. Lead into this market correction. So there is a lot of space for companies to do bigger buyback programs, to do uh, increased dividends and, and that sort of thing. And even M&A, you know, if, if there's companies getting sold off, you know, baby with the bathwater, that's the type of environment that has a cash rich company start to look for, you know, some bolt on acquisition. So all of that, I think, and I, and I wrote about this uh, a couple of months ago, uh, you know, that could potentially provide some support to the market. Um, mm. at, especially at really nasty dips like this. Uh, obviously, you know, is it enough to counteract the lack of support that we got during the pandemic from the Federal Reserve and from the Congress, the, the stimulus spending there? Because I don't think anyone is expecting uh, any sort of big stimulus yeah. package from Congress as a result of, uh, you know, the, the economic headwinds that we're seeing. And obviously the Fed is moving in the other direction. So those are some pretty big headwinds to, to overcome. Um, it is good to see companies deploy this cash though. and. And it certainly um, can help uh, stop the bleeding or at least slow it down a little bit. Mike, it was interesting, though, the timing. I remember I think it was a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, Chevron announced to buy back. Their shares were at a record high. And then you see, of course, other, I mean, a flood of companies. Amazon is really just the latest to do this. Is that a signal that they value the stock is cheap and this is the best use of cash? Or can we not sort of glean that signal from these announcements? I, I think it's, you know, obviously, if they're willing to put up that much money, write a check that big, that, that they do believe it's their best use of cash at the moment. Um, how far it goes, I think, is the question. And really, again, you know, for the market from the index level, uh, from the 30,000 foot level, it's, it's really, well, is there enough there? Is there enough dry powder companies to really overcome all the headwinds uh, to the economy, which are pretty significant? I mean, obviously, today, the big story is that massive drop in oil prices really mm -hmm. sort of calming down, cooling off the real, uh, you know, focal point of stress in the in the market. Um, to Anne's point, though, how long that lasts, um, you know, that's a market that was overbought that's correcting very quickly uh, and not necessarily uh, in a way that you could take faith that today's drop in oil is a sign that the top is in. As much as you can't, you know, indicate that the bottom is in from the S&P's rebound mm -hmm. today, I think, you know, there's a lot of news flow ahead of us from Ukraine, Russia, the sanctions and the commodity space. Um, and it, it's really sort of a, a very dangerous time to make any prediction about what's happening next.